Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was a uh, interesting night, to say the least, in Portland tonight. Apparently, Kelly Kelly sent out some tweets on Twitter about me. And uh, why don't I go ahead and catch you up to speed? I'll read them off to you. Real Kelly Kelly, <clears throat> I've seen what you guys have been saying about at Eve Marie Torres. That's my Twitter name. And you know what? I agree. She is uh, sipping on that skank juice. I mean, who hooks up with her guy's best friend and uses every one of the people she works with, I guess she means? Bad grammar, but whatever. Well, I've seen the real her, and she's no friend of mine. Just when you think you know someone, you don't, in capital letters. <laughs> well, let me go ahead and clarify some things. First of all, apparently, while I've been sipping on this skank juice, Kelly Kelly's been sipping on that haterade because she's clearly extremely jealous of this attention that I've been getting. And, and I get it. I, I know what it feels like to feel irrelevant. I mean, I, I did it for months and months. I sat in the background while Kelly won everything and got the cover of Maxim, and now <laughs> she's apparently up for some Buck Kicker of the Year award for Nickelodeon. I just find that extremely ironic because when we used to tag... I would do the damage and somehow she would steal the wins. So I seriously think they need to reconsider that nomination. Second of all, I mean, who hooks up with her guy's best friend and uses every one of the people she works with? Zack Ryder was not my guy. Okay, Zack Ryder fell in love with me and that's not my fault. Third of all, I've seen the real her and she is no friend of mine. So apparently Kelly and I are no longer friends. Which, you know what, Kelly, I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to be my friend either because the truth is I'm going to be one of the most influential divas of all time. And the reason for that is I will do whatever it takes. And uh, I know that you just don't have that in you. 